DHCP is a protocol that's very, very useful for automatically configuring devices. It's in, in its definition, dynamic host configuration protocol pretty much says it all. It's a mechanism for automatically assigning an IP address to a newly added host on the network. It can also be used to assign other network-related configuration information. So in the case of a diskless boot system, I can give it information about the network, the boot image, as well as the location of the device itself. This allows you to be able to get much more information to those devices than just a name or an IP address. Um, if you've got an IP phone, for example, it's going to tell it where its TFTP server is to be able to download its image. It's going to tell it you know, where the uh, communication manager is located so it can uh, register to that different device. DHCP is very, very useful. Now, in the case of UCS Director, DHCP is also used for the bare metal agent to be able to function because it allows you to be able to then uh, provide all that information to a server when it first boots up so it can do the pixie boot, it can find its image and be able to get uh, configured and automatically uh, provisioned on the network. So at this point, we'll do a quick demonstration of DHCP and the bare metal agent pool. So within UCS Director and leveraging a, a tool called bare metal agent, it allows you to be able to set up automatically new servers when you bring them into the um, into the data center. So you can basically take the server out of the box, plug it into the network, and it can get uh, you know automatically provisioned and configured. So in order to be able to configure and uh, you know make all that happen, you have to use DHCP. So in order to be able to configure DHCP for bare metal agent use, you have to go into administration and then you go into physical accounts. Under here, you'll actually see that there's a number of different uh, uh, parameters that you can configure around bare metal agents. So we'll go ahead and select bare metal agents, which this would not show up if you did not have bare metal agent configured and uh, currently operational. So this is showing you the actual bare metal agent uh, virtual machine that is loaded up in the addressing structure and all the other good stuff out there. Um, this is gonna give you the ability to be able to manage these particular components associated with it. And as you can see here, you've got a, a DHCP option to be able to configure. Now, DHCP again is used to be able to uh, automatically configure the IP addressing structure, but it can also provide uh, information like Pixie boot addresses and um, TFTP server addresses and all the different information can be passed to it to you know, allow a diskless workstation to be able to automatically boot up. That's kind of what Pixie uh, is designed for. Uh, but in this situation, we're going to use those, those facilities to be able to automatically configure that server. So here we're going to go ahead and click Configure DHCP. And this is going to give me the options to be able to set all of the DHCP parameters. So from a subnet perspective, I'm using 198. 18.6.0. I've got a DHCP net mask of, uh, of a uh, slash 24, and I've got a DHCP start IP address of 198.18.6.10, and I go all the way to 99. I can also uh, provide a next hop router address uh, so that uh, the device has the ability to be able to connect off segment, but in this case, we're not using that. We're just going to load up the uh, uh, software from the local uh, local segment, so it doesn't have to go out through an IP address, or excuse me, through a router. Once you configure this, you can then click submit, and you're pretty much ready to go from a DHCP DHCP perspective. Um, to be able to configure some of the different characteristics like the Pixie boot uh, server uh, parameters, you would actually be able to go in here and configure some of these different uh, uh, capabilities natively with the, with the address itself. So it gives you the ability to be able to set some of those different characteristics in here. You know, again, this is a little bit outside of you know, configuring DHCP, but that's what the bare metal agent does is it provides that ability to be able to automatically uh, configure and load up a new server.